So how do we start a podcast on Substack? Really quick, I want to show you on one of my Substacks, I want to show you uh, here you have the tab that says podcast. So you click on that. I want to show you what it looks like when you have a podcast set up on Substack. Um, I've got a little logo here. This is just what I called the podcast, a little bit of a description. And then you have, here's the, you know, on Substack, here's the episode stream. You can sort it by new. If someone wants to go through the newest episodes, you could look at the top episodes. Here are, you know, the top most downloaded, most interacted with podcast episodes or a community if they want to scroll through the ones that had the most comments on them. I, I don't get a lot of comments necessarily on my um, podcast episodes, but you can scroll that way too. So anyway, this is sort of, this is what the, your listener will see if they access it through Substack. But how do we, how do we get one set up? What is the, I guess the back end that you will see in your dashboard? What does it look like? Well, in the dashboard, I want to show you, here's what podcast looks like on the dashboard side. So now this is not what everyone sees. This is what you see. You can see it shows you your total downloads, uh, how many you have generally after first seven days, first 30 days, first 90 days. Um, it gives you a graph, and you can sort that by daily or cumulative. You can change the amount of days to 30 days, 90 days, or how many you have all time. It also breaks it down per episode. The, the title of it, when it was published, first 30 days, how many it currently has total. Um, you have paid subscriptions, you have shares uh, that come from it, and you see I've got 30 uh, different episodes that I've uploaded podcast-wise. It also shows where your audience is coming from. So 91% of my listeners are in the United States, but there's another 9% that come from various countries, from various places. But then also top players, how your audience listens to you. Most of mine, 51% come from Apple Podcasts, another 43% come from browser. So most of mine come from Apple Podcasts. So, so this is, I just wanted to show you, when you have a podcast set up and you've gotten episodes uploaded, this is what it looks like uh, once you get all that going. But what if, what if you're wanting to start? How do you start a podcast on Substack? Well, let me pick one of my other um uh, one of my other substacks. I do the online writing guide, and there's a link if you want to subscribe to this. Uh, there's a link down in the description of this video if you want to become a free subscriber to the online writing guide. I share ideas uh, in this substack. But anyway, let's just say we click over to podcast. I've not started a podcast here yet. been thinking about it. We're going to start one. So you will click Get Started, and then you can choose. Do you want to uh, create a new section, create a new, basically, do you want to use your, your audience, the subscribers you currently have or not? We're going to use the subscribers I currently have, and we're going to choose start a new. You could import an existing podcast, so there's something else to think about. You've already been recording a podcast on another platform, and you want to import episodes of that, you can do that. But for now, I'm going to start a new podcast. And so you just do the audience list, the online writing guide, Here's what do you want to call it? We'll just keep it something something simple, the online writing guide podcast. And so, but you just title it whatever you want. And then you give a podcast description. Write a few sentences, one or more sentences to tell your listeners what your podcast is all about. A complete guide to writing online and um, having conversations with other online writers. Podcast byline. So this is, you know, who maybe you have on it or appear directly beneath your title in most listening apps. So whatever you want to put there. Pick the categories. This would be technology and business. You can change the categories. There's a lot, as you can see in here, there are a lot of different categories to pick from. So go through and really look and see uh, what you have. You'll need to decide. Explicit content, yes or no. Let listeners know if they should expect explicit or adult content. Depending on what you're talking about, uh, if if I, I don't curse any in anything I do, but if there's a lot of uh, explicit language in what you are talking about, you should check that so that people who are going to listen so that they'll know, uh, hey, there's going to be stuff in here that might not be suitable for all ears or, you know, the old saying, not safe for work. Um, 
podcast tab. This will add a tab to your publication site to display your podcast name, description, list of all episodes. So like like I had, I showed you back in the Centered on Christ one where I have. It's got that tab at the up at the top that says podcast. You're going to want that so that people will know when they come to your site, oh, there's a podcast. Let me click on this and see what's going on. Choose the language, uh, English, or if you're from another country, you let people know. And then finally, uh, you have podcast artwork, a logo for your podcast. I had that. Uh, You'll just create that. I generally create all of mine in Canva. Um, I pay to use Canva, but you can do a lot of things with the free version of Canva. So if you don't use that, I recommend using Canva. And then that's it. And then you just hit create, and you have started your podcast on Substack. It's really just that simple.